Hello and welcome to MS Tech Hub. This is the continuation of validation series. In this video, we are going to discuss about the dynamic, dynamic forms and custom validation. And this custom validation will be based on this particular JSON. And this JSON will produce the form like IP address and the email. And this IP address having the regular expression validation which, is, which we are having in this JSON and we are going to apply this particular validation dynamically let's flip to visual studio to show the dynamic validation let's move to the jquery section first of all let's remove this validation because we do not require this validation and remove this part also let's paste the json what we have seen on the slide this is the same JSON what we have seen on the slide. Let's loop through loop through each element of this this JSON. Now let's index and element use the lambda expression function. Now what we have to do, we have to create an ID first of all by using this name property and replace the spaces containing the name because we are having spaces space actually in IP address so we have to remove this by using the replace function. So now we are having the ID. Let's move to the HTML section. So we have to copy this element because we have to create the elements dynamically. Now create a div with id dhtml. Close the div. Now while we are looping through this, we have to generate our dynamic html. So the html we have copied with using the tick symbol we are going to paste this html now let's replace the name by using the e dot name and replace the id because we have created the id here so let's paste the same as name and we have to apply the dynamic validation required validation in attribute so let's leave it here and remove this message because we have to use the default validation message we have seen in our previous video that how to apply the attribute validation so if you require I'll, I'll give you the link in the description so let's append this particular created element to this dynamic div let's dhtml append this html to the dynamic div let's have a look in the browser till now reload the page so now we have generated the element IP address and email like both the elements we are having in the JSON right and now let's create the validation for this regular expression because as of now we are having the validation on this field these two fields that require validation only if we give anything in this so it has been accepted because we have only applied the required validation as of now so we have to apply the this regular expression with this message so for this we have to create dynamic function on the validator dot add 
method so we have explained this add method in our previous videos I'll provide you the link for this also in the description so in the first parameter of this method of, of this method we have to provide the method name so we have to provide the method name actually unique so we have to generate the dynamic method for the name for that so the method name is equal to dynamic underscore plus k id so we are appending the id to the method name so now this method name we can use in here as a method name so the second param parameter is the function which contain the log logic for the for the method and final is the message we have to provide so the message is available here in the JSON so we are getting this message from here so now we have to provide the definition for this method so let rejects is equal to new rejects expression so we have to get the rejects expression from the this and return this as rejects rejects dot test we have to actually test this particular value which is coming from the text box and now return this particular rejects returning value now we have completely created this method now we have to apply this particular method to the fields so for this we have to create an object an object and we have to give the method name method name is equal to true and now we have to add this particular object to the to the field or text box we are having the text box id on the top right and by using the rules function we can add this object we have created so we have done the part now we can uh, we can see in the browser let's refresh the page when we submit the form we are having this required validation available in place so now when we provide any value a b c so it is producing the same uh, you know rejects validation that enter a valid IP when we enter a valid IP so it is it has been accepted that particular ID IP now we have to provide the email ID for that so it is saying please enter valid email ID let's say info dot ms tech hub at gmail.com it has been accepted now so we have successfully applied the dynamic validation by creating the dynamic fields that's it in this video thanks for watching